I grew up in a small town in Montana called Harrison, Montana. Ever since I was a little kid, I always dreamed about joining the military. When I joined the Army uh, right out of high school, I ended up getting to the 101st Airborne Division. If I could go back in time and change the circumstance of what happened to me on October 9th, I definitely wouldn't, because if I wouldn't have stepped on that IED, somebody else would have. And I'm lucky enough that I survived. I remember like it was yesterday. The most beautiful morning I remember in Afghanistan. And I just happened to come up on this trail and I saw five, six Taliban staring right at me. And as I was raising my rifle to engage, an IED detonated directly underneath me. Still not sure what even happened to me. It was just real blurry, tingling, burning sensation running through my entire body. And then I got myself sat up and I noticed my legs were completely gone. As soon as the helicopter came and picked me up, I couldn't breathe. I started turning blue, and I started holding my breath to die. That close to death, I can remember every single detail about my daughter's weight, the day she was born, the smell of her hair, everything. And my goal at that point was just trying to stay alive to see them one last time. I think a big fear of his was that he would maybe lose his family, that I wouldn't still love him or that he wouldn't be good enough for me anymore now that he didn't have the limbs. And so I told him, we're not going anywhere. We're a team and that we really would get through this together. The transition was extremely difficult. Nobody prepares you for what happens on the outside in the wounded warrior realm and you know what it's like to live a life with you know, no arms and legs. The only way I knew I could be really happy with my injuries and stuff was to be able to challenge myself through the great outdoors where nothing's handicap accessible. You have to adapt and overcome. One of the things that I really loved about those adventures is if there was other warriors out there with me, we'd learn from each other. And that's kind of like what led up to creating Mohawk Outdoors. Let's create a program to focus on taking all combat vets on outdoor adventures and experiencing what is the most healing thing in the world, and that's the great outdoors. Out in nature, there isn't handrails to help you walk with. There isn't, you know, nice flat surfaces for you to drive your wheelchair on and stuff like that. We've been saying it since we started Mohawk Outdoors that being able to have a UTV, something we can get paraplegics, double amputees, easily and safely inside and out of, it would be a dream come true for us. Holy cow. I wasn't expecting this in the morning, <laughs> dang. Good morning, JD. Hey, good morning. What do you think? It's beautiful, man. Wow. Holy cow. Pretty cool, isn't it? Wow. Dang. The winch system immediately caught my eye. The lights. Got a couple rifle racks. Rifle, I just saw that. Oh my God. I've never seen one modified like this before. JD, it was an absolute honor to be a part of this project and uh, modifying this K9 UTV to help you and your brothers to continue your mission through Mohawk Outdoors. So on behalf of Coyote and from one veteran to another, George, brother. Thank you so much. You guys have no idea what you guys just did. Ready to take this thing for a ride? Let's do it. Park break. Ha, ha, ha.